Good morning, guys. Mr. Darling here. Uh, Going to get ready to do a little example for lesson 6-6 six, six here. And we'll start with the I can statement. I can use the distributive property to combine like terms in an algebraic expression. Part of this is going to be review because we've done the distributive property. Uh, you guys will remember this is an essential that we feel every kid should be able to do this year. So we'll um, practice that again and show that. And then we'll show you the new part of combining like terms. Okay, so the first part of uh, the first expression is three times the quantity x plus four plus three times the quantity x minus three. Remember the distributive property means we're gonna distribute the three through the parentheses. So sometimes we draw those uh, little marks there to remind us to multiply the three times everything in there. Uh, so we'll start out with three times x. And again, you can write three times x, but most of the time we don't use a time sign uh, because it looks like an x. So we just write three x, which means three times x plus three times the four is 12. And a lot of kids will write four here because they'll forget to distribute, and that's a common mistake. So make sure you distribute uh, the three through the parentheses. And then we'll continue and distribute again, plus three times x is three x. And notice this time it's subtraction, so it's three times three, but it's gonna be minus nine. And you can also look at that as a negative nine, but three x uh, minus nine. Now to the new part, combining like terms, uh, we can only combine the terms that are the same. So all the x's we can combine together to get in the simplest form. So 3x uh, plus 3 more x gives us 6 of those x's, and I like to cross those out uh, to stay organized and know we've gotten all of our x's combined. Then we'll take our numbers. We have a positive 12, and we need to take away 9. Uh, so that leaves us with a positive 3, or 3. So we're going to add... That 3 there, when I've combined the positive 12, take away 9. And now that's in its simplest form. Uh, and that's the form that makes it easier to solve when we start making an equation and set it equal to something so we can find the value of x. So we've kind of working on getting into a form that makes it simpler uh, when we start to um, solve for our variable of x. Okay, so your exit slip are going to be problems similar to that. I'm going to go ahead and show a little tougher one here because you'll run into some different situations. So those of you... Uh, the one a little more advanced practice. I'll show you a little different example here. Okay, so the second example is 2 times the quantity of P minus 5 uh, plus 7 times the quantity of P plus 2. Okay, and just made this a little bit more challenging for you with some negatives. Uh, the situation will be a little bit different here, you'll see, after we distribute. So let's distribute the 2 through the parentheses. So this would become 2P or 2 times p, minus 10. 2 times 5 is 10, it's minus here, so subtract 10, plus 7 times p is 7p, plus 7 times 2 is 14. All right, so this situation, just a little bit different than the last one I showed you. Uh, the p's, when I combine those, that's relatively similar. I have a positive 7p's, or 7p's, and a positive 2p's, so I have a total of 9, of those p's, so 9 times p or 9p, but the situation with the numbers is a little bit different this time because we have a negative over here. Subtract 10 is just like a negative 10. So basically, the numbers that I'm combining, I have a negative 10 and a positive 14. So you can look at this different ways, but I could look at it as a negative 10. If I were on a number line, I could start at a negative 10 and add 14, and I would end up at a positive 4. Or, when you're combining them, you don't necessarily have to go in this order. I could say I have a positive 14 and a negative 10, or takeaway 10. So you could look at this as like 14 takeaway that 10, which is a positive 4. So there's different combinations and ways that you can do that. And sometimes it'll be a little more complex when they're both subtraction. Uh, it can be even tougher, but that stuff you'll get into a little bit later. So negative 10, add 14, gives me a positive 4. So I add 4. And now I've got that simplified so it's ready to solve if we set it equal to something and we can figure out the value of P. So just a couple different situations there for you. Uh, make sure you do your journal pages and practice and look at those answer keys before you do that exit slip. And don't forget to do the exit slip because that's how we track how you guys are doing. I remember Mrs. Newberger and myself have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. till 11 a.m. And we will answer your questions immediately. Um, when you uh, ask them during those times. And if you ask us any other time, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So keep trying, guys, doing the best you can. 
I know this isn't ideal, but you guys will start to um, learn some of this stuff if you keep practicing. So uh, hang in there and keep doing your best, and we'll talk to you later.